In part 2 of the new geometry series, we'll pick up where we left off and add stairs and different types of glazing. We'll start with the stair module block that we'll place at the top of the roof landing next to the wall. We can make a copy of that to create the next stair down. And then we can use repeat copy to generate the rest of the stairs down to the lower level. By doing that, we've done a couple of useful things. We've quickly created the stair, but since the stair is touching the wall, we've also created a boundary that we can use to generate the lower stair. We can select the boundary and extrude it outward to create a monolithic stair mass. We can move this monolithic stair around to the front to represent the stair rising from the base to the first level. Now let's add some transparency to the design by adding some windows. We can choose other window assemblies already in the BIM to copy. And we will insert another version of this window assembly on the other side as well. We'll add some windows on the south side to allow some daylight in, but we'll use clerestory windows so that a degree of privacy is maintained between the two innovation offices. We'll add them on both stories. Now we'll go to the opposite side and insert a glazing assembly that spans two floors. We can initially position it within the wall. Then by selecting Control, we can change the size of the overall window assembly itself before locking in its placement. Once we do that, we can make any final location adjustments and then complete the glazing insertion. We'll also quickly place an exterior glass door to access this area. We can obviously do a lot more, but within a few short minutes we've already got a building form generated that we can explore. We've generated stairs, and we're starting to look at how and what type of glazing and window assemblies could be used.